Hey there, everyone. I'm around the wheel. And I am Bryce. Oh. And we're going to... Uh, not talk in slow motion. Yeah, and me neither. Couldn't Again. even keep that up for like 10 seconds. Into you the know, volcano. <laughs> I was about to compliment you on that great long jump where you picked the corner of the rotating platform, and then I saw you jumped out of the side of the of the uh, volcano, I'm like, oh, never mind, he's doing something stupid, I can't compliment him now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, and also sorry because this episode has no sound, I guess I accidentally bumped my, my, uh, little, there's a button on some kind of hub thing on my USB headset here, I guess I bumped it. But I do have some good news for you people, I may have found a way for him to record everything just fine, Jim and Danny, and how is that a part of a regular part of the volcano? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Well, just somebody blue... obviously had to come into the volcano and construct that artificially. Yeah, but it just... You know what I mean? Like, if they set traps like that in a game, in a Mario game, it usually fits the motif of the level, like the color scheme, whatever you want to call it. That had no... Like, it was just so out of place, that blue. It's just... It's jarring. Oh, yeah, you know I mean? the blue... Okay, I see what you're saying. It's just... It's very jarring compared to the reds and the, the grays and the, and the browns in here. Yeah. Just, it's weird. Oh, and I was waiting for the bully earlier to fall into the lava because that's one of the things I like to do in here. <laughs> but you can't hear, like, my satisfaction at him finally hitting the lava. It's, it's always fun when they falls into all here's that... Yeah, as they, that's uh, what I was waiting apart. for. I'll just stand there and I'll wait for it. I'll watch I'll... that guy fall. I, no, bu- please... I, I bumped a bully off a ledge in Reno just to watch him die. Nice. Well done, Johnny. So my question for you is, are you, are you going to uh, use the uh, turtle shell on the outside to get the 100 coins? Please tell me you're going to. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. Nice. I mean, there's, there's nothing no cool, other there's, way. There's nothing cooler than surfing on the top of lava on a Koopa shell. Although I did, uh, I did do a few practice runs with the turtle shell just to make sure, like, just how badly am I going to do this. Yeah, because it's not easy to control as it is. I can only imagine with what. No, you're using. and I was like, I was, I was doing terrible in the practice runs. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fantastic on camera. And then I did it on the first run. Nice. Woohoo! That was. I love how that lava tight. pools at the bottom, like it's made of like oatmeal or something. <laughs> I just love the bad textures in this game. Yeah, some I mean, of the textures are. I hate to say that. I hate to say they're bad, but they're <clears> just they're just primitive, you know, this is an early game. I don't oh, I don't like to rag on it too much because it's still amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, the textures, I mean you look at them, they're just so flat and repetitive and just uninspired compared to what even what you were seeing like a year or two later with Banjo kazooie. Yeah. And even that game's got some pretty crappy textures to it, but I mean the the leap in ability to make it look just better was amazing. This is still my favorite 3D platformer, though. Uh, I think Banjo-Kazooie would probably be my uh, my favorite for, for life. I love Banjo-Kazooie. See, I've played this one a ton, too, but I love Banjo-Kazooie. I've never played that one. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, 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 yeah, it's no, worth playing. It's worth playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it. It's on my, it's on my, like, gaming bucket list, I guess. Oh, wow. I can't believe you didn't blow that shell apart twice. I know. What the hell? Did you just go through? You can actually go onto the platforms with yeah. the shell? Yeah. I didn't know that. I just assumed that'd blow your shell apart, too. No. Well, that's lucky. I figured that out by accident once. Oh, I you never can, knew you can that. Totally go through the, you can totally go through the slide puzzle without, like... I mean, you can't run into that concrete over there, obviously, but... Now, we were talking last and time And I'm doing about... this with a Logitech controller. So yeah, it's this is pretty, this is I'm not gonna lie. Solid. Modesty goes out the window. This is fucking slick. Cause I'm using a D pad. Oh, fair this. enough. We we were talking last time about Nintendo and you know how they they give like obvious obvious clues and how Mario games have become very you know facile. Just, yeah, that's well, the word I would use for today's topic on Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> You will not let this go, dude. I will not. No, the, the this the is your that, thing from now on. <laughs> you, I guess so. You do all the. <laughs> I'm out. The, the, the thing that comes to mind for me that in that game again, just going back to some of the the 
the stuff that they don't clue you that well for a lot of stuff in that game either. They clue you on a lot. Don't get me wrong. That's true. They do. But there are certain things that you're just left up to your own devices, which I kind of like. But some of them are just ridiculously stupid. But like with the that. way, but with the way they made it like such linear progression, it kind of made the, it annoying. True, like, but the, like where in this game, where in this game, it would have been fun because it's something you discovered yourself and you were supposed to do that anyway. But like. Get all those coins, and I missed that one up. I'm I don't, not sure how you managed I don't that. think so, Scooter. There you but, go. But to finish the example okay, I'm yeah, referring ahead, to sorry. specifically, is I can't remember the name of the level. It's one of the last levels in the the game that you get to do before you go into the, the, the last area with Bowser and all that. Uh, spoilers, by the way, people. But anyway. Oh, Corona the, Mountain, yeah. Uh, but the, the one I'm referring to is the... There's a hidden shine up in the sun you have to spray with water, but, like, there's one person who kind of hints at something like that in the level, but it's, like, so vague. It's like, okay, that's cool. But then there's, uh, you have to do it from a certain, like, mushroom, and you have to aim a certain way and all that. That one, okay, that one I can understand. It takes a bit of thinking and exploration, fine. But there's, there's one where it's nighttime, and you have to spray the moon, but there's no indication you have to spray the moon. The only way for you to figure that out is to just go, well, I could spray the sun... So oh, I should be able to spray the moon on this course I've already done. The ones I had trouble oh. with were the blue birds. I did not pick up on that visual cue. Oh, I picked up on the birds because when I sprayed, I sprayed a green bird once and it turned into a coin. I thought, hey, there's a yellow bird. That must be a shine. And then I saw some blue birds. I'm like, oh, those have to have coins in them then. Okay. So, See, I didn't, I, was... I didn't think to spray the birds. I thought they were just like an incidental detail. I was just... I was just... I don't know. I, I understand. I'm not. That, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a kill everything in sight kind of person. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm not either. But it's. It's one. <laughs> well, it depends on the game. But oh god. Well, you tried to die. <laughs> yeah, I tried. The, Boy, I tried a few times because it would have been funny. But it really never happened around here. Hey, can that volcano hurt you when it's erupting? I was wondering. I don't know if it can. I want to say it can because why would it not be able to? That'd be kind of silly. But yeah, I mean the thing about sunshine is that. You realize after a bit that if pretty much anything and everything you spray will pop coins out or something else. Like okay. it, that game, you like if water touches almost eh, buy a coin. If water touches anything, it just to do that. something happens. Coins, you know, blue coins, shines, whatever okay. it may be. Okay, I can see. I can see. Okay, yeah. So maybe so I, the, I guess I'm just dumb then. No, you're not dumb. There's just there's a logic leap they're expecting you to make, which is cool. I like that. In a game, that there are certain things that you know. Yeah, I like those logically. That, that design. There are a few times when I tried to do that in a Star Scavenger, where it's like, okay, well, obviously you can do this, so why not try to do this? Interesting. So there will be a few, probably secrets like that. Well, I'm looking forward to doing that game once it's done. I I, I keep saying, you know, I'm really close to. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> Face into the... Oh, man. But, yeah, I'm trying to get a test packet out there. I, I keep saying, like, oh, man, it's going to be, like, another week, another week, another week, and then I... I don't know. You know, I, I, I work on it when I can in these, like, little time snatches. Oh, and, I understand that. Because, you, know, I mean, I, 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 you know, a lot of people who work on games, they're just, you know, like, kids or whatever. Not to say that... Well, not to say that they're kids, but, you know... They don't have as much they have responsibility. Di- they have disposable time. Yeah, they have disposable time. Like, I, I work full-time. I, I'm a family man. You know, I work on it when I can. That's understandable. I work on it I these mean, little snatches where possible. And, uh, myself, and I'm it, in the it, same boat. It all kind of it all kind of just adds up eventually. I'm working uh, one of the levels in the test packet is going to be uh, from World 6, actually. Uh, the, the factory world. Nice. I... I if I have high anticipation for that because I'm always a fan of factory uh, levels. Well, there is a whole factory world. I mean, the Donkey Kong Country games have good factory levels, and I mean, Final Fantasy III has the Magitech factory. That place is awesome. I think I just, it's an, I think it's an underused. Uh, I don't want to say geographical area because it's like a building, but <laughs> it, it's nice. it's an under it's an underused setting. In yeah, games. I mean, and I, I absolutely expect you to be using some sort of nuts and bolt uh, sort of thing from Donkey Kong Country 3 for that. We'll see. Oh, you better. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll throw it in there just for you, but I hadn't planned on it so far. I've got or, a few or, good. I've, I've got a few good like oh, factory songs lined up. 
Or the Magitech factory. Too. The one in the awesome. level that I'm working on right now is just... Hello, Bob. <laughs> it's insane. Are you gonna... Holy jeez, Bob. I know. No, 70... no those gonna... 72 Bomb virgins for you. That took way too long. <laughs> oh, my God. The other day, April was like, <laughs> one day, we're going to get a black lab, and we're going to name it Bob. <laughs> nice. I was like, ah, oh, that's why I married you. Because this is happening now. <laughs> when we have a hat, we're not. Oh gonna- no! What happened? Oh, he oh he babobbed all over the carpet. <laughs> well, that is to be expected. His name is Babom. But yeah, I mean, we're never gonna have a dog in an apartment because fuck that. And how did I hit him? I don't even know. I, I'm even more shocked you didn't crash into the the sand after that. Oh yeah, well because you know. the, hit, the, the the hit detection on that's pretty generous. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but, it is. But still, I mean. The way you stayed out of the, the quicksand was a good thing. Yeah. But yeah, I would never have a dog in an apartment. God forbid. I hate it when people have dogs in apartments, because... Uh, we, we had Casper. Casper lived most of his life in, in various apartments. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, he's he's not a big dog. He's a right, stubby-legged... Yeah. The ones I can understand mutt, are like uh, little like yappy dogs. Nah, see, I... I uh, speaking of yappy dogs... Oh, you're dead. <laughs> You're dead, bro. Bye. Oh, you're Bye. dead, man. Bye. Oh, my God, you're not dead. <laughs> I think you have to get, like, right in the middle on that one to be dead. Oh, uh, you so deserve to be dead. But, yeah, speaking of yappy dogs, some point in the future, my wife wants to get a pug. Blech. Pugs are weird. They are weird. They're, they're, they're not even cool weird. They're just weird weird. Yeah, they're like, they're like Steve Buscemi weird. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you kind of want one there if you're making, like, the big Lebowski, but you don't necessarily want to center, you know, the whole thing around Steve. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the pugs are one of those things that the internet is fascinated with, like bacon and, and like... Sharpays, too, is another one I don't get. That I just with. don't get. I had a friend who had a Sharpay, and that was the coolest. He was just cool. Not, like, cool as in, oh, my God. You are the coolest kid on the block because you have a Nintendo 64 and a Sharp A. No, it wasn't like that kind of cool. He was just like cool as a cucumber, you know? Gotcha. As some as some somewhat lame people say, a cool customer. So what you're saying is basically it was Steve McQueen then? Yeah, basically. He was like the Steve McQueen of dogs. So this is where we abandon the wing cap and we give the shell a chance. We give the shell a chance to shine, except oh, that... Oh, no. <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? What star were you even trying to do there? Uh, the uh, inside the pyramid. So you were just going to the pyramid? Uh, yeah, I was just trying to go up the ramp, and then I went. Grrr! Yeah, just yeah, veered way just, off course. Yeah, no. There you go. I finally ground pounded a box for you. That's not what I meant by ground pound a box. I mean the one where you jump up and hit it, and then you ground pound. So when the star pops out, before you hit the ground, you collect the star. That's what I mean by a ground pound uh, box. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You ain't shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for my language. Fine. <laughs> Bitches ain't shit. Well, actually, I don't know if you've ever heard the song. I actually don't want to say it, because I don't want any of your female viewers to hunt me down and kill me, but a song by a group called Funk Dubious, and it, uh... Did you say uh, Funk Dubious? Yes. Wow. And, but Dubious is spelled like D... O O B I U S. I think. Let me guess. This band was popular sometime around 1992. Well, this 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 group, this act, whatever you want to call them, they <laughs> they, uh, they 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 were popular, I think, with really nothing because their their content was just that nasty. But it was a thing about okay, female ge- uh, genitals ain't ain't nothing but. Um, Lips and um, something else. <laughs> I'm whoa. not gonna say. And sorry, it was it was whoa whoa. whoa. It, it was it was female genitals ate poop, except another word for poop. Ain't, okay. <laughs> that that ate lips and something else that rhymes with that that bad word for poop. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> totally nasty. Yeah. So they were all gay, is what you're saying? Quite possibly. <laughs> but really, it was it was just your 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 you know, early nineties. I'm gonna put quotes in this gangster type rap. Oh lord, yeah, we're so tough. Pretty much, yeah. Well, look oh at my this. god, you're gonna get squished. 
You gotta work hard to get squished by that thing. You really do. That thing is so bad. Just like as an enemy. He's just bad at being an enemy. That's that's his deal. Let's just do a few flips just cause, why not? Now, speaking of that rolling enemy, I saw somebody's, um, a hack of this game where they changed up certain things. When you enter the pyramid, there's three or four rollers all together, <laughs> and if you don't avoid them just exactly right, they kill you right away. What? Sure. They worked it where, like, you got pushed out or something, or you got pushed into something by them, like... And I, you got crushed. <laughs> Like you got crushed or you died in quicksand or you just you got pushed out a level and you died. I'm not sure how it worked, but you like died immediately, basically. That's funny. Like there was a way to get in that way, but I think you were expected to enter it through a different method. I like it when they take a non lethal enemy and make it dangerous. That's one of my yeah. favorite things to do in a hack. Now you or see when this do that. Th- this star right here? Yeah. Instead of doing that climb through the pyramid, what I do is I do the Flying, I stomp the four posts to take the roof off the, the top off the pyramid, and then when I get inside, I just do a triple jump to that platform as the plat the cage is descending. That is slick. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. But anyway, looks but like we've run well like... over here. Yeah. All right. Next time. Next.